Virginia right, so this morning bird. is everywhere you are. <laughs> we love I'm checking in with our viewers and friends of the show. <laughs> Andrews, you're going to have to, I got to go sit on a nest somewhere and just cool down for a minute. I'm too excited about it being Friday. All right. Everywhere you are, we are super excited every morning when we get to share this. We open up the inbox. We see all the great photos, the stories, and the magic that you're sending our way. Andreas, what's up first today? Well, we're going to meet Jordan. Her grandmother, Judy, sent us this adorable picture. And Judy tells us Jordan has been busy doing schoolwork while social distancing but everyone deserves a much needed break. So when she's not doing schoolwork, Jordan likes visiting the playground. She looks so joyful. I do, I do too. I think the playground is a great spot to go. And right now it's one of the areas we can kind of work our way back into. So that's fun. Jordan looks like she's having a great time. I was trying to, oh, we'll take a look at this. This is Frank, Frank the cat. <laughs> I love cat videos, friends. I mean, I'm just gonna put that out there too. Now you know I'm a fan of fall and cat videos. This is Frank perched up on a changing table. Virginia This Morning viewer Brittany Richards sent us this video. Frank is going to become a big brother next month and oh. he's very excited about it. He's spending a lot of time hanging out in the nursery. Okay, that makes that even more precious now that I realize <laughs> what's fully happening here. Brittany tells us that Frank likes protecting all of the baby gear while he waits for baby Richard's arrival to come. I mean, that looks like Adorable. Frank is definitely on team new arrival. And it looks like he's testing for quality assurance. Like, let me just test this out, make sure everything's <laughs> gonna be fine for this like, new baby. Hey, we can't have any this, errors. That's right, is this comfortable? What's my role yes. proximity? Like how right. far can we go? Is this belt gonna work? I mean, Frank has got this, th hey, look, he's like, okay, Getting a little loose, loosey goosey here on this belt, but yeah. we've we've got this. All right, we love Frank and I love cat videos, so that's awesome. Thank we you do. for sending we that do. one in. <laughs> that's a pretty good one. All right, so here's a special moment of celebration. My family and I recently hosted a virtual commencement ceremony for my brother who graduated from Wake Forest University. He had a virtual graduation, but we actually thought it was a great opportunity to have a graduation just about him. So we stood and did, you know, the anthem. We did a formal welcome. We had a whole script. As you can see, I made them wear robes. They were not too excited about that. We marched in, did the whole thing. By the end of it, I think they were on board, but it took a while to get everyone on the same page about the fact, no, we're having a real graduation. So we did that with some friends on Zoom, friends and family, and uh, gave him a, a diploma. I said, by the by the authority temporarily vested in me, I hereby give you this <laughs> diploma. So it all worked out. We had a great time. <laughs> you know, I just think that's incredible. Kudos to you and the entire family there, Andreas, for making that magic. Yeah, I've thought about all of these traditions we've hopscotched over in a way, but you've gotten so creative and everyone has in recognizing these traditions and creating these right. awesome memories. You know, that, that's, that was a memory made. You made it happen. Yeah. That's exactly. Awesome. Well, so congratulations to all the graduates in the class of 2020. Absolutely. <laughs> it's a, a big accomplishment. Well, Andrews, we were talking about this yesterday on the show. Bill and I shared these pictures sent in in Scottsville, cute town of Scottsville. He caught this massive fish in the James River, right? A catfish. We were talking about it on air and whether or not you would yeah. eat a catfish like this. Because I thought that's a dinner for a long time. Well, Mikey wrote in and gave us an update. He told us that he lets the bigger ones go. So he's on the catch okay. and release game, but he keeps the little ones and says they are delicious. So who doesn't love I a think catfish? that's pretty fun. Who must I'm love the catfish? You. And I, here was the other part of our conversation, friends. We want to know, so Mikey, you got to write in again. You have to tell us. <laughs> we were debating, is this like a rod and reel factor? Or mm. are you doing what the kids at home call noodling and you got that oh, catfish noodling. out of his catfish hole so we need to know mikey tell us okay those are some serious catfish well <laughs> we want to know what you've been up to during the last few months we'd love to share your fun moments and stay connected with you that's right please send us a video a picture or a comment to our virginia this morning facebook or instagram page or go ahead and email us virginia this morning at wtbr.com stay with us we'll be right back with more virginia this morning on this friday